This is where fate is decided, but the power in the courtroom is about to shift. Now a criminal defendant will have the option to elect to have a jury decide guilt or innocence, but then they can have the judge decide on sentencing. A major move for criminal justice reform. The General Assembly passed a bill that takes some sentencing out of jurors' hands. Starting July 1st, a defendant on trial can choose whether they're sentenced by the jury or judge. Juries historically sentence much more um, harshly. They give longer sentences than judges. So defendants have a lot of predictability when they go in front of a judge. They, ha they know what the guidelines are. They know that the judge is likely to give them, you know, what the range is. The jury, they have no idea. Norfolk's chief judge, Mary Jane Hall, says judges have the ability to suspend a defendant's time, whereas the jury does not. Opponents of this change in law said if you do that, the number of jury trials in Virginia will explode and we don't have enough prosecutors and we don't have enough public defenders and we don't have enough courtrooms and judges to deal with the explosion. The other side of that argument was no, that's not going to happen. What will happen is that the prosecutors are going to make more reasonable plea offers. Jury trials in Norfolk are paused until April due to COVID. Judge Hall says this new law could impact the already backlogged pipeline. I think we're, we may see some more continuances so that criminal defendants can get into the July 1 time frame. Juries have been involved with sentencing in Virginia since the 1700s. I think if you're a juror and all you have to decide is, is guilt or innocence, it's a bit of a stress reliever for you. In Norfolk, Aaron Miller, News 3.